Hi everybody, welcome to Art with Jim. Today we will be making Purrier's perspective drawings. So, who's Purrier? Martin Purrier loves to make new shapes. When I see a sculpture, that's the first thing I think. Hey, I've never seen that shape before. And I've seen a lot of shapes. And that's why he's so special. Martin Purrier is an African American artist born in Washington DC. He loved to draw as a kid and wanted to be a wildlife artist when he grew up. He learned to build furniture, guitars, and even a canoe. After going to West Africa as a young adult, he became inspired by the craftsmanship of African art. He wanted to make brand new shapes with his hands. So all his skills combined and he became an artist, an artist of new shapes. Now let's look at the sculpture called Ladder for Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington was a real person that Martin Purrier looked up to. He was born a slave and later became a famous African American leader and speaker. He believed anything was possible when you put your mind to it and worked hard. Kind of like using a ladder. He also said, if you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. I think the latter could mean just that. We need the help to go up, and others need our help too. Who has helped lift you up? All right, time to get our supplies. First, you're going to need some black paper. Any size will do. Then you're going to need a white color pencil or crayon. Remember, a regular pencil won't work. You'll need a ruler, and then a black oil pastel or crayon. I'm using a slick stick. And that's about it. Let's get started. First, we're going to have to do a perspective drawing. What is perspective, you ask? Well, we're going to draw a bunch of lines to make it look like it's your point of view, to make something look 3D, like it's three-dimensional. Now I'd like to show you a trick how to do that. I'm going to draw two dots near the top of the page and then two dots near the bottom. Got it? Does it look something like this? It doesn't have to be exact. The dots on top should match the dots on the bottom a little bit. And then with a the ruler, I connect those two dots on the top and then connect the corner of the page to the first dot and the other corner of the page to the second dot. Same thing for the bottom. Connect your two dots and then connect your corner of the page to the first dot and the corner of the page to the second dot. With me so far? Finally, I'm gonna connect the dots on the top of the page with the dots on the bottom of the page with two straight lines. Wow, look at that. It looks like a room. If it didn't work out perfect the first time, just keep practicing, you will get it. Now that we have our room drawn, let's look at the original. This is Martin Purrier's ladder. Look how it swirls and squiggles and gets smaller all the way to the top. That's what we're going for. To make this kind of ladder, I'm gonna use my white pencil to draw a squiggly line going all the way to the top. Notice it's almost like the way a tree would grow. And then I'll do another line right next to it and try to kind of draw the lines so they come to a point. Just like in the picture, I'm going to thicken up the line so it actually looks like a wood ladder. You can see here, I'm just going over my lines a few times. And then when I'm ready, I can draw the steps of the ladder. Now notice the higher up the ladder I get, the closer the steps are together. And none of them are really straight, just like the reference. The original artwork has a very bright window at the top. Remember, we're climbing towards something very hopeful. So let's see, if I use my white color pencil here, I can just fill it in, and it might take a couple layers or so. Remember, it's gonna be hard to erase color pencil, so it's always good to go a little lighter first and then go darker afterward. Take a look at the shadow. The shadow really makes something look like it's real, like it has perspective. So that's what I'm going to draw in now. I'm gonna take my oil pastel and under each step of the ladder, I draw a darker line like a shadow, like it's underneath. And then I'm going to draw two lines that connect to the bottom of the ladder and go all the way up the wall. And then I can draw the rungs of the ladder. And look at that, it looks incredible. I have my ladder and an actual shadow. What a cool art project. This thing looks real, and remember, it's just paper and pencil. All right, everybody, we will see you next time.